I'm trying to keep track here of, of the submissions. It seems to me that there was a charter that ha had submitted their petition several times going back into the fall, submitted it, made up updates, and I understand that's all part of it. And then there was another one that made a submission, but it seems to me that there are two charters that have not returned. Okay, so that's something that they initiated, yes. and that would be fire and valiant. And also scale. Okay, so so if those were to come back on the menu, we would see that on like a future <laughs> agenda item report. Okay, thank you. Where's my glasses? I got to stay on track now for this stuff. Um, the night of the stars, incredible. The Agua Dulce Women's Club Luncheon, incredible. The Acton Women's Club Evening Luncheon, incredible. The Meadowlark uh, Back to School. I went through every classroom and took a look at something that I thought was um, um, significant, that I could capture what every, in those pictures, I think is a work that every kid uh, in our school there, one of their projects was there. And I was looking at all this, and I was looking at how the classrooms are arranged, and I'm picking up on things like how learning takes place. Uh, if you're sitting there fidgeting with a fidget spinner or something like that, there's supposed to be something on the wall and textures and numbers and things. And I'm going through the classrooms, and I'm seeing things really arranged. I didn't see messy classrooms. I didn't see broken things. I saw teachers engage with parents. And the conversations were meaningful about the student because I think – Every, if everyone realizes we're not here to make a kid into what we want them to be, we're there to help them find their passion, and that's what makes them an individual, and that's what makes them successful adults. Um, Alyssa, I am aware of your career aspirations, and um, I'm proud to say I work for the finest municipality in the United States. Um, I have a good, as a program manager there, I have a good understanding of what staff reports look like. Um, there's been some good um, um, student reps in the past. They each had their strength, but I can see that you have the strength to accomplish what you're headed into because I look over your staff reports and you have to remember we're up here not to be educational experts, but we're up here to represent as lay people, the community. We each have our own individual uh, thing. But you want to remember that we're only as good as the information that's given us, and I, I find that your reports are always uh, prioritized, they're significant, they're brief, they give me the details, I need to understand what's going on in the campuses, and I think that you recognize that you represented a whole organization, not just the high school, because I find that you would include things about the smallest kids in the district all the way up. Um, I know you're going to have a brilliant career wherever you go, um, I wish you well, and public service is really about, I, I hope someday when you're struggling to write a, a report that the people above you are giving you changes every five minutes that you turn back to these and remember what was really important. I want to thank you for approaching the board. I want to thank you for being calm uh, and having candor. I do want to let you know, not to dismiss any, but I, I understand the sensitivities that you have, and especially the other, other members of the Acton Town Council because it's really important that you have a pulse on how this community is represented in the greater region. I know that in, in my time on the board, um, we've kind of put some things on an agenda and got everybody headed the right way. And I don't think that everybody understands that the town councils here are advisory commissions and that the county is up here looking at the bigger thing and I, I want this and I want this and sometimes what we want that pr preserves the uniqueness of our community and what our goals are and the things that we're proud of and that we want, want represented out there. We have a sensitivity to that and I think there's a track record of the school district and the town councils working together to influence the county in a positive way. And I want you to know that I value that, inf I value that relationship very much. And I, I think that um, um, it's important to how we're viewed in the region, not only amongst our constituents, but I think in the, in the bigger picture. People want to know at that level that they're coming in to deal with people that are going to hit the issues that, that are objective and that we can put out there, whether it's about a train or something else, that, and we're not, not off in the weeds embarrassing each other. So that's all I have to say. Thank you. When it comes to um, 
the LCAP public hearing, I just so staff knows, I'll have some questions about the ELD rollout and what EL supports look like for next year. Um, when it comes to the uh, the budget public hearing, I'm going to really want to dig in on the effects of the fluctuations that's happening with legislation, uh, with the charters. I'm going to be wanting to understand a little bit more, not so much about the reasons why, but what the number fluctuations look like in the market trend. If you can give me any idea of what, why I'm seeing numbers growing in some, but in others, it seems at certain times of the year, the numbers shoot through the roof suddenly. I don't know whether there's things collapsing over here and the students are migrating from one to another. But I need to understand that because I think it affects our projections long term. And uh, I'll have a few questions about, we went through a facilities maintenance plan and what that looks like and, and how that's going to inform uh, the budget um, and, and, and potentially a bond effort. So, can you tell us as part of your budget stuff if there's rollovers and what they are and what their intended focus is so we don't like for example if we have something in title one that we have some plan in place at the sites to move that forward so we're not just giving money back in areas where we really need it cool thank you